guys, welcome to another video from the People's Pond. First of all, I hope all of you had a good Christmas. Wishing you all a happy new year. Hopefully this, this year brings us a lot of happiness, a lot of success, a lot, lot more koi and the money to buy the koi. Happy new year, guys. Um, just thought I'd give you a little, guys, um, an update. Haven't been on screen for a long time. Haven't really had much to update on. Been so busy with life and the little one and family and everything, but weather hasn't helped either so I thought today's the day we start the new year off with a bang everyone if you're watching the video hit the like button give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs down subscribe to the channel please support it let it help it grow we're on about nearly 800 hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon and this video will also feature a giveaway to help start your pond for the coming year in spring so I've got a couple of products uh, teamed up with Evolution Aqua. Once again, they have been very supportive to me, so I've got a couple of products to give away on their behalf, and it will also involve a mystery gift. The mystery gift will be unveiled when we do the results for the draw. All you need to do is just type a comment in. Doesn't matter what it is, it's gonna be a random draw. Anyone can win. It's gonna be restricted to the UK just for postage purposes, and do comment to be in the shed, to be in there. Get there, get the comment in and you'll be in the draw for the products. You know I like to do giveaways, and thankfully the companies have been very helpful to me, and so thank you Evolution Aqua for this one. Right, these are, as you can see how I've got my sheets on. Uh, we've got two four by two um, meter polycarbonate sheets, 10 mil, and this, these two which cover the edge, shape being oval, so it does give me a bit of problem on how I'm gonna cover it, and the waterfall there, it's just, things do get a bit awkward. It does the job and the pond currently is running at um, 11 degrees. I had it up at 17, 18. I've been bringing it down every week, every other like week, just bring the temperatures down stably. So now we're at 11 degrees and I don't really see the air source going on as much, which is the key just because of the recent energy bills. The increases is it's hard work, like paying everything off. Everyone's probably in the same boat. Like, you have to find out where you're gonna cut that corner. And so the heat for the pond wasn't really a necessity because I'm not, I'm not overfeeding. There aren't very little food at the moment. I'm not going for that big super growth because these are not competition koi. These are just my koi. So let's get these sheets opened. Uh, we are gonna vacuum it today because I haven't done that for a little while. So this is the vacuum I use. It's the Owase Pondo Vac 4, good bit of kit. If you are gonna buy Hoover, this is excellent. It does the job, it comes with all the attachments, everything. It's got like a three meter extending pole. So let's get these sheets off and you'll see how I get them off. I check on them every day, so they're all right in that way. The leaves have been a problem this year, but thankfully, I think because we cut the we cut the top tree there, which is overhanging onto the pergola. That's, you can see that stump there. So we cut that off and that has saved us a bit. I've done a bit of trimming there on the side, on the left-hand side of the screen. So that's still has to be trimmed down, but there is, it's still covered in leaves. I do my bit to try and get as much as off as I can, but you know, as the wind comes <coughs> and that's it, it just goes everywhere. Luckily, things haven't flown away. Hard work taking them on and off. That's why I only take that one off. I don't take these ones off. The joys, eh, of being a koi creeper. I hope you guys' ponds are doing well. Um, I have been watching a lot of videos, not many. I haven't seen everyone, so if I have missed your video, do say sorry about that. You know how it is. Just ain't got enough hours in the day. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. So I'll take all these off. I'll give them all a little clean. And then we can see what the koi have been doing. There you can see the, the pump for the heater is covered in leaves. So I will need to fix that a bit. So these are just normal, I think they're 42 by 27. Um, three meter lengths. I 
It's a mission to just take all this off. But I have to just so I can get the vacuum in properly. I have got two new koi, which I will show you today. They are very nice. I got them from a private seller who got them from a pond closure. Very clean, nice fish. Let me just get some of these leaves out. It's endless, the stuff that you have to do. Right, that's the pond opened after I don't know how long. Fully open, it's been a couple of months. But right, all right, let me show you the fish. So there we have them in all their beauty. Thankfully, they have been all right, touch wood. I had to leave them alone for over three weeks. I was away on holiday. Um, brother had trouble with the Nexus, couldn't clean it, so we had to leave the Nexus. They weren't on any food, so they were all right. Water was a bit horrible when I came back, but it took me a few days just to get things back in check. Parameters were all right. Temperature, 11 degrees, air source heat pump, which has been doing great. The remora with the Tempest, um, had an issue with the Tempest, backy shower been decommissioned and moved just for the winter period but the fish thank god are all right some of you eagle eyes viewers may have spotted my two new additions hajiro and the big boy is coming right there 78 centimeter chargoy. I got lucky with these two fishes. When I mean lucky, I mean very lucky. Didn't pay half of what I thought I was gonna pay. Yeah, so now you call me the three checks because I dirty my hands are. See one here, Marasai, and then you got the other two. Don't know the breeder of that koi. I did ask the seller. The seller told me it was uh, Hirasawa. I have my doubts, but it's a child boy, as you say. But the fish are all doing well. I will chuck some food in, but I'm going to hoover it up. So I'll hoover it up first. And then we will see how they interact with a bit of food. I haven't feed, been feeding them heavily. They're probably less than 100 grams a day, just because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going for growth or anything. I'm just, I just want them to be healthy. So they're getting fed every day. It's on 11 degrees, so I can feed. Like, it's not bad, but it gets dark from the time, by the time I come home from work, so I don't want to feed them too much because they drop down. And the floating food, they don't really come up for. A couple of the big fish get it all. The little ones don't. Um, you can see my little grow on there coming out so nice. Even the Kugani or Chiba, excellent. It's lot, lost a bit of the reticulation on the scales. But I think hopefully when the covers come off, that should come back. We've got the Dainichi Kahaku. Amazing. I think after buying that fish, a lot of my mindset has changed on what I want to buy. The Chag and the Hajiro. Hajiro I wanted just because I lost one earlier. Yeah, decommissioned the backy shower as well. Um, just because I don't want the heat loss. Energy consumption is energy consumption. We can't really do anything about that. Um, you can turn your pumps down, but I, I had this running on a full uh, 30,000 Awaze Aquamax Expert, and that was pulling out 650 watts full back. Yeah, so that, I don't know how, it just broke. Yeah, the, uh, impeller eroded from inside. Um, nothing was stuck, it just eroded. So that's like, gone. So now I've got that. 
Awaze, not Awaze, Evolution Aqua one. That is a, I think that's a 20,000. It's just sitting there now. We'll hopefully roll on spring and we will start to get back in business. Plan for this year hopefully will be, that'll be removed I think this year. That, will, that part has to be because we had a landslide over there. You can see the fence is broken. So the fence, yes, it has, it's gone over. My neighbor did tell me that's probably what would happen. And lo and behold, that's what happened. The water, the, I just got wet. The water has just got runny and runnier. The water, the mud has got runny and it's just dropped down. It's broke that fence there. Yeah, so plan would be to get rid of all of this new fencing here. And then if money, the money happens, then hopefully we could do a rebuild. I haven't seen that for quite a while. This pond now is actually two years old, two years old. Um, December 2nd was its anniversary. So I have got to two years. I've been through a lot, but it's all been a learning curve and experience. It's been good. But it's just now, after having a child, you realize um, how precious time is and you don't have the time. Like it's, it's so difficult to juggle everything just because like now, especially in winter, time is of the essence. Four o'clock, starts getting dark. Um, all right, enough jib jab. Let's get the hoovering done and we will see what happens after that? I'll leave you running for about a minute just so you can have a look and then I'll chat you off. I don't want to fall in. That's the problem with being um, a pump fed, it's the amount of debris that does get stuck. And especially in this pond, the problem that I have is the curves, all the folds. The folds are my problem. And that's the one thing that I want to fix is the shape of this pond. And also, if you guys are parents, you know safety. That like this pond is so unsafe for a little child. It doesn't have that safety feature, which I think I would have to have because with the little one, I would like her to enjoy the fish. And the only way she can enjoy the fish is if either I have to put like the glass uh, balustrades, which I probably don't want to do, or I have to raise it. And raising it is going to encounter a big financial expenditure. And that is something that I don't have at the moment. Well, not to spend on this anyway, not at the moment. I did have blanket weed this year, so I will probably dose in the spring for the blanket weed. And I think, see, that's all the algae, even though my UV is off at the moment. I'm not going to use the UV. Um, do you know what I'll do? You see me vacuuming. Let me vacuum and I'll get back to you. So we've got the pond vacuumed. Um, Chuck a bit of food in. Feed. Let's see what they do. Just a couple of handfuls just to vent the appetite. It does all get eaten up quite quickly, especially with the chags in there. Very fortunately, I think all the fish, thank God, are in the right condition. I was saying that I'm probably going to jinx myself and it's all going to get messed up tomorrow. <laughs> Normally, that's what happens on this channel. So um, still doing pond visits. So if you want me to come visit your pond, give me a shout, drop me an email, peoplespond at gmail.com. 
I would like to see other people's ponds as well. It's nice to see what people have created, their fish, their systems. So do drop me a channel. I don't come empty handed. I always come bearing gifts. It's nice to showcase other people's ponds. Gives people who, like me, I've just started in the hobby, gives them an eyesight into how things are done, how things can be done. It's good for people to see. I understand people are quite private. They don't want to share their ponds. I don't mention locations or anything like that. Uh, it's all about the fish and the pond, really. That's all it is. Very snippy. Temperatures have been up and down. Drop a comment, let me know what kind of temperatures you're running at. Yep, nearly cleaned up. So I think while they're finishing off their food, we will get to closing the pond for now. It's messy, I know, but we will get there slowly, slowly. It's hard to remember. Yeah, let me give the sheets a little clean, clean off just with the water and we'll put the sheets back. Alright, giveaway time. Me and the Blue Snack have teamed up once again to bring you these three products that we're giving away. The blanket weed, which treats uh, 5,000 litres. We've got the Pure Pond Bomb, smaller balls. And these are all in date, that's till November. We've got the big pond bomb, that is still October. So, thank you, Evolution Aqua, for providing me with the products to give away. That is going to help you out in spring. Um, I'll probably say, dose your blanket weed earlier, so it won't grow. That's what I will do. Dose it beforehand, so this will help you. So, if you want to be in chance to win these products and the mystery gift, if you want the mystery gift. Good, yeah, it's nice. One of one, then I'll find another one of them. All you gotta do is just comment, comment the video, even if it's just say hi, happy new year, anything. Give yourself a shout out, whatever it is. You win these products and the mystery gift. People's Pond does always sort you guys out because all about the people's, as the channel says. So, if you're watching the video, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell icon, and support the channel so we can give you bigger better giveaways also uh, on that hand um, I'm gonna give a huge shout out to Koi competitions and Clayton Koi I was the lucky winner of uh, one of the draws they do a like you buy tickets like a raffle so you buy tickets and you can win stuff they do big giveaways uh, I won the Saki Hikari multi-season 
it was a 15 kg bag. I was around for food, so he offered the plate and amazingly he offered me the cash alternative. So I won 200 pound cash. Lovely. Thank you, Clayton. Check out toy competitions. Uh, it's just I'm just helping them out. They're not paying me or I'm not sponsored or anything. It's just I won, so you can probably win two. Uh, they have got some good ones on, so do check them out online. Toy competitions, things.com. Do check them out. So also, if you want to win these? Do comment on the video. Comment, comment, comment. That's what we need. We need support for the channel. This is the year that hopefully we will get to over the 1k subscriber mark. So hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys. Peoples Pond, over and out.